Ugh, Aldi is really my love language. Did you know that there are actually secrets that Aldi employees themselves don't even want you to know? Adrian here, I have scoured the web, read all of the posts from Aldi employees themselves, and I have consolidated all of the Aldi secrets that I have found into this video to help you with your Aldi shopping for your next shopping visit. Number one is, did you know if you see a letter D in the price code, it actually means that the product is going to be discontinued. So if there's a product that you know you really love and you see a D pop up on that price tag, make sure you stock up on it. Number two is to make sure you check out their weekly specials. Aldi starts their new weekly specials every Wednesday. You can actually look online what the weekly specials are before you go into the store to score some extra savings. Lots of Aldi shoppers know about the Aldi finds, which you can find generally in the middle sections of the store, also known as the Isle of Shame or the Isle of Randomness. A lot of these products you can score amazing deal on. You can find anything from household items to kitchen items. A lot of things in those aisles that they actually feature in their weekly ads. And Aldi finds are seasonal, which means once they're in the store and once they're gone, they're gone for good. And on top of that, if you don't have time to check out the weekly specials online before you get into the store, you can always pick up one of the ad flyers on your way in. That's gonna have this week's current specials. And then once you're done checking out and you're actually exiting the store, they actually will have a sneak peek for next week's weekly specials, which you can grab on the way out. So in my store this week, it was, this was this week's ad. And then on my way out, I got next week's ad. Number three is Aldi actually does not take any manufacturer coupon. Bonds. However, that doesn't mean you can't use rebate app to get rebates on your purchases after you purchase everything. For example, my favorite app is Ibotta. Aldi is on the Ibotta app, so you can find products that Aldi has within their stores and then get additional discounts within the Ibotta app. Ibotta is one of the few places you can actually get money back on on top of Aldi's already great prices. Make sure you have the Ibotta app downloaded and you look through it before you head into the store. I have found in most Aldi's, I have a really hard time connecting to the internet. I screenshot the rebates that I want to use when I'm in the store and then I can just scroll through my photos and know which ones I'm planning on getting within the store. I've been using Ibotta since 2014. It's by far my favorite way to save additionally on groceries. So I will have that link down below. If, if you use my code VX2HHG, that actually gives you a $10 welcome bonus when you sign up. So you can get that on top of anything you save on in the store. Number four is you cannot beat Aldi's produce prices. These are some of the lowest prices on fresh produce that you will find really amongst any grocery store. When my husband and I got married, we were actually both choosing to work part-time so that we could put our other time into other things that we were really passionate about. Like for me, it was putting more effort into my YouTube channel and helping you guys out. It really limited us in our budget and we definitely had to get really creative about where we were spending our money. Our grocery budget was actually something that we had to be really, really careful about. We could have easily gone over eight, $900 a month on our groceries. One of the first things that I started cutting in our grocery bill was actually fresh produce because going to the store and paying four or $5 for a container of berries was just not something that was in our budget at the time. I'm not sure when I started shopping at all after we got married. But when I started shopping there and I realized a thing of berries was no more than $2, I realized that having fresh produce for us was actually something that was really attainable in our budget, even though we were really tight on a budget. I've certainly talked about this in past videos. There's really no substitute for fresh produce in your diet. Aldi has just made a way for us to be able to continue having a lot of fresh produce and healthy vegetables and healthy fruits in our diet. Number five is Aldi's amazing return policy. Aldi actually has a double guarantee return policy where if you you don't like a product at all, even if it's used, you can bring that product back into the store. They will give you a refund for it. And on top of that, they will find you a product to replace that with for free. So you basically get two items for free. You get the money back for returning the item and they offer to give you a similar item for free. I will say in the Reddit post that I did read, there were several people who went up to Aldi employees and asked for this refund. The Aldi employees would oftentimes give them that 100% refund back, but they weren't giving that additional product replacement unless you asked for it as a customer. So make sure that if you are returning an item, remind the Aldi employee that this is the policy. And since it is the policy, they have to go through with it. And Aldi employee is, is not going to know all of the rules altogether. Number six is to shop Wednesdays for the best deals. Like I said, Aldi comes out with a new weekly ad that starts every Wednesday, which means the best products, the best Aldi finds, the freshest produce is going to be found on Wednesdays, particularly Wednesday mornings. This is when new products are released. So there are new Aldi finds going into the aisles of randomness.
business. And this is when their next week of produce actually goes on sale. So you're going to be able to find the freshest produce for the cheapest prices. Number seven is to actually avoid the toiletries aisle. The toiletry aisle in Aldi actually has all the same brands as like a Walmart, but they're going to cost significantly more since they are the name brand products. I would say nix the toiletries aisle, stick with the food aisles. And that brings me into number eight is to actually avoid name brand things and stick with the private label stuff within Aldi. Aldi is known for having some amazing private label brands. For example, Simply Nature is their organic and natural food line. Fit and Active is their healthier food line. Mama Co Lucy's is their frozen pizza and Italian line. Clancy's is their salty snacks. Millville is their cereal and bars line. Friendly Farms is their milk and dairy products. All of the lines that I have tested and have been talked about from other Aldi fanatics is that their private label brands are on par with other name brands of the same product, but they are significantly less expensive than the name brand. Some of my personal favorite things from Aldi are the Friendly Farms non-fat Greek yogurt. My husband and I really love the Take and Bake Mama Kosi's pizza. It's literally giant. It can feed us for several days. I love the Clancy's pretzels, the pub style ones. Those are really good. I feel like I've tested a lot of Aldi's private label. I have an eyelash in my eye. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I feel like I've tested a lot of Aldi's private label brands for the most part. I'm not going to say this about everything, but for the most part, all are top notch. Number nine is Aldi actually makes going gluten free very, very easy. And that is because Aldi has an entire section of gluten free products for anybody who is going gluten free or has celiacs. It makes going gluten free super, super easy. And you can do it on a budget because a lot of times I know going gluten free or even going dairy free or any sort of dietary restrictions can be very, very costly. Gluten free options and other grocery stores can be two, three times more expensive than the other normal grocery items, but Aldi makes it very, very easy and easily find all of those gluten-free on an end cap in one of the stores. And they're oftentimes significantly less expensive than the equivalent that you would find in a grocery store. And number 10 is that bags actually cost extra for you to get them at the store. But oftentimes Aldi employees leave out the extra boxes from when they're restocking the shelves. And you can always take those boxes and use them to carry your groceries within your cart. And on that note with the grocery cart, a lot of people know about Aldi is that you need a quarter to insert into the cart in order to use the cart and once you put that cart back after you've loaded your groceries into your car you can get your quarter back however not a lot of people know I think that you don't actually have to use a quarter I know crazy right you can actually just use the end of a key you can stick it in the same way that you would put a quarter in and it will release that grocery cart in the same way that if you were to use a quarter to release the cart just remember that the reason that they use the quarter is so that every customer will put that cart back away so that they don't have to have an employee come and gather all of those in the parking lot. It's one way that Aldi keeps their prices really, really low. So just remember, even if you are using that key to return that cart back to where you got it in the beginning. I will say, like I said before, my husband and I were both working part-time when we got married and our grocery bill was something that we had to be very, very careful of. I mean, we got married right when inflation was getting really, really bad. I'm certainly making this video because I want to share these Aldi secrets with you and I want to encourage other people to go to Aldi, even though I know that there's a connotation about Aldi is for people who are struggling with money or are on a budget. And I will just say that I really don't know how we would have gotten through at least up until now in our marriage without shopping at all, just working part-time individually, going to a normal grocery store. I think we would literally be spending two, three times what we spend every month because we were shopping at Aldi for the majority of our groceries. So Aldi does hold a very special place in my heart. It has allowed both of us to work part-time so that we can use our time to pursue other things that we really enjoy. For me, I chose to go part-time to so I could pursue other things like putting more effort into my YouTube channel and helping you guys out as much as I can. So if you want to know 10 more secrets to your grocery shopping, this video right here is my 10 secrets to saving on your groceries. I think you'll really enjoy that video if you like this video. Thank you guys so much and I will see you guys in the next video.